Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm catching up on making review videos because I haven't in a long time. But I got a new camera, a tripod, and lighting, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to try to make more review videos as possible. And make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And make sure that you leave some comments on your thoughts, questions, concerns, how you felt about certain um, movies that I review, especially this one. I know that this one is a classic that I'm going to do and that it's a beloved franchise. And so, yeah. Um, so for the anniversary of Jaws, they released the movie for the first time on 4K. This is the 4K version ultra high def this is not high definition this is not the standard dvd or even blu-ray it looked really good on blu-ray i watched it on blu-ray i remember when it was on vhs and i had to watch it on vhs and it was kind of terrible not the movie itself just the quality so i watched this let me tell you what this is so good. So I watched, so there's a lot of pros and cons that I have to, uh, have to seriously point out about this movie because I ain't gonna review the actual movie. I watched it in this quality on a 4K TV and a, in, in a 4K Blu-ray player to watch this 4K movie. So uh, it was extremely high definition. It was crystal clear. Let me start with the cons, because I love to get the really crappy stuff out of the way so then I can um, end off on a positive note. <clears throat> so, first of all, I love the new case. It's, it's like the old one, but it's more, it has that really cool 3D, that cool 3D effect going on. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Ooh, yeah see his teeth move like that yeah but anyway excuse me guys um so they did really good with the case let me show you the back of the case too so i want to start with the bad the bad this movie well i don't know how i can say the bad without saying the good also so the bad thing is is that it's it's bad for its own quality so this movie is in 4k so the the picture is crystal clear and it it looks like a brand new freaking movie guys um is crystal clear it does not look like it came back way back when or anything um the picture quality of the movie looks like it came out today. It's that insanely crystal clear. It looks like a brand new movie. Um, all the scenery is so beautiful in the movie and everything. The bad thing is, is that it is a victim to its own quality. So because the picture quality is so clear and it's not fuzzy or anything like a VHS quality picture or anything like that um, you can tell that the shark is so <sighs> that the shark is so fake that it's literally an animatronic shark um, the way that it moves it is not like when it's in the water and when the guy when the kids and the guy fall off the their um kayaks or whatever they are and the shark lingers up to get the guy to pull him underneath the water like it the shark looks real under there and every like in that scene and everything but like at the end of the movie when the shark comes popping up and like chomping down while the guy is falling down into his mouth kind of thing just looked so fake it looked, it was terrible, actually. Um, 
and they were able to get away with that when they had VHS tapes and things were a little bit darker and more fuzzy and everything. Um, and it was scarier like that. Um, the thing about this one is, is that it wasn't really that scary. Some parts were intense, obviously, even though you knew that they were coming or whatever. Um, some parts looked really good and were executed really well, especially for its day, because it did come back, you know, come out, um, four decades ago. Um, but, like, everything about this guy is, is super, really good. Like, obviously, it's a classic. The story is really, really well executed, and the shark, for the most part, is executed really well it's just some parts when it does look fake it looks extremely extremely animal electronic fake um but there are some really good intense parts to it and it does it is really good you can it isn't so dark or blurry in the beginning that you can't even see the girl going swimming you can see her perfectly crystal clear as if you're seeing her go into the ocean for the first time with your own eyes so <clears throat> as it does have way more good than bad though obviously and that's why it is a classic and that is still holds up to today so um it is one of the best shark movies ever made and my views on that haven't changed whatsoever it's just that watching it in 4K, you're able to notice things a little bit differently that you never noticed before because they didn't have this type of quality, you know, when it used to play on TV and all that other stuff because, you know, 4K and all that stuff is very much new in our modern generations and everything. So... But anyway, I, I would highly recommend this on 4K for people to buy it on 4K and check it out. Um, because overall, it is really great. You get the really great Jaws movie, the story, the, the actors, the, the scenery looks so amazing in this, um, in this movie. And the shark even looks amazing. There's just some parts that uh, it doesn't, but for the most part it does. And Steven Spielberg is obviously <sighs> amazing. Um, you know, I love his Jurassic Park movies, E.T. I love, love Steven Spielberg and his, all of his work. So, obviously. But, um, anyway guys. That's my review about this in 4K. Make sure you check it out if you haven't. Obviously, if you're a younger person and haven't really checked it out, you obviously should because you're missing out on a classic. And everything about the movie is great. Besides some parts with the animal electronic, but that's besides the point. You can actually ignore it because the rest of the movie is great. So, and it's a great shark movie. So, Anyway, make sure you comment below and let me know what you think of this amazing, fantastic classic. And um, I would actually, I don't love reboots or anything. It'd actually be nice, I'm not going to say reboot, but it would be nice if they made a sequel in this era with really high-tech digital effects not that the shark has to be digital effects because they can do some pretty stunning animal electronic stuff obviously jurassic park anyway um but like a newer updated version with a newer story um like with they can bring in the kids and stuff in do like a Halloween or a Scream type thing where they they show the trauma from what these kids now grown and probably have kids of their own have experienced um you know their p 
PTSD, I guess I would say, and the fact that they were traumatized when they were younger over sharks and everything. Um, that'd be really interesting to see. Um, it's always good to see survivors come back and give it a good go and be stronger and do things differently. Um, that'd be pretty awesome if they did like a generational update where they told the story of the kids. I know that they did, oh, it was so long ago that I watched the fourth one, but they even did one of the wife where she went out hunting for the shark or something because she blames the shark for everything that happened and everything. So, um, I really didn't care for that one. I really didn't care for the, the third one, the 3D one. Even though it was cool in a sense because it was um, underwater in the aquarium thing, that was pretty cool. Um, but overall, the third and the fourth one were really... The fourth one, I guess, is, I'd say, better. Um, but one and two of this, actually Jaws Part 2 is my favorite, and I don't know if that's a popular opinion or not. But it just seemed like it had more going on. I think that the only thing that really um, separates how I view this one versus the second one is that the second one, I, I feel like it had more going on. But I could be totally wrong, but I, I think I, I like that one more. I know that people are going to kill me over that, but... Um, anyway... Enough rambling about me on my views and this movie and everything. Obviously, you should watch it if you haven't and comment below on how you feel, um, where you were at the time when you watched it because it's a classic and so many millions of people have watched it throughout the generations and stuff and, you know, grandparents have watched it now and parents and, you know, children. Like, it's a classic and it should be watched if you haven't watched it so especially in 4k that is amazing so there's my review about that everybody have a great day